Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about what not giving sports card investor $50,000 to spend in seven hours. They also gave Mojo Sports, they gave Card Collector 2, and these are just the people I know of. Uh, $50,000 to go out, spend, buy cards at the Dallas Card Show, and then to have a weekend celebration of selling you bulk slabs for money. Whatnot is a very interesting business model because if, they, if you were to give any influencer money, it probably would not be Jeff Wilson in terms of his history of buying things very high. The star Mark Michael Jordan card, obviously very notable at 100,000. His trading ability, trading a one of one Michael Jordan, I still can't believe that happened. A one of one Michael Jordan auto for James Harden, numbered, non-auto. <laughs> I mean, just, oh God. I want to cry every time I think about that trade. But hey, at, for every bad trade he does, there's somebody on the receiving end who catches the punt. Now, whatnot, so on my other channel, I'm going to break down whatnot, why I think things are going to go very poorly. It's kind of like the Uber or the Lyft or the WeWork. Is a lot of capital and it's deploying its capital by paying these influencers. Trust me, Jeff Wilson does not do things for free for other companies he does not own. Card Collector 2 is on payroll. Everyone's on payroll. Backyard Breaks, of course, is the biggest person there. The problem with whatnot is you cannot really build an audience. It's not like YouTube where you can have, when you make a video, the video can be seen a year from now, two years from now. It's set in stone. Whatnot, once you're done the stream, it that doesn't record the stream. There's no history of the stream. Uh, it could be the most exciting stream ever, but the idea is nothing is recorded because they're using copyrighted music. As an IP attorney, I can tell you exactly why. It's the same issue Twitch had when they were having all those VODs, right? And then suddenly everyone had to delete the VODs off their channel because everyone had been using copyright music. There's a reason that people on you know live streaming in YouTube don't use copyright music because you, you will immediately get flagged and your channel will get shut down. That's very different from whatnot where you can play, I think Backyard Breaks when Jay-Z had his new album, they played it the same day, right? They played it all day, the same day it came out. Obviously, if you were to do that on YouTube, they would ban you so fast that you wouldn't even be able to break your first box. The whatnot model is very interesting. I'm going to probably go over it more in my other channel. I'm going to, my other channel, we talk about business models, whether or not this business model can be successful. We talk about IP, we talk about recession issues. So if you want to subscribe to the other channel, it is at LUS. And if you want to subscribe to my dog channel, it's at RRX. So a lot of work place stuff going on in the background, of course. But I want to make this video mainly to share my experience with companies like Whatnot, where they just have, they raise tons of money. They're valued at very, very, very large amounts of money. They have investors like Google. You know, I've been very positive about Whatnot because I think they are in the right direction and $50,000 to Jeff Wilson, $50,000 to Mojo, $50,000 to Card Collector 2 in the large scheme of things is nothing compared to what they're valued at, which in, is in the billions of dollars, right? Now, is it sustainable? We will see Uber and Lyft, they have issues, Airbnb have issues because none of them make any profit. MoviePass, I mean, there are some examples of companies like MoviePass where the deal was so good that it bankrupt itself because it was spending so much money. Uh, the same with WeWork. Uh, WeWork was supposedly a trillion dollar plus company and they wanted to IPO, sell it to the American public, right? Thank God we avoided that because then we would have all lost money. It would have been part of your pension and part of your time and everyone would have a share of it. That's how it works when you have a hot tech IPO. What not, I, positives, I do think they are in the right direction. I do think um, they understand live shopping. Negatives, 
eBay is coming. I, I, I really refuse to believe that eBay is not coming up with a clone of this app because they are the biggest online. How can they not? Because they, they are honestly took away market share from eBay. I would be, if I were eBay, I would be quite upset about that. Now, as a content creator, it, it's this dilemma. I'm, you're too late to join WhatNot because everyone out on WhatNot already has all the customers. So it's very hard to be a new person on WhatNot. You have to bring your own customers. That's my biggest complaint about WhatNot. And I don't think that's gonna work for most people. Now, if you have a big YouTube channel and you promote on your YouTube channel, even though you don't say it's a sponsored ad, even though it really is, we can debate whether or not legally it is. Happy to have that debate with Jeff Wilson. Card Collector 2 and Mojo, but they are paying out the nose, these people, these content creators, these sports card influencers and so on. And eventually they have to show a profit. Every company, there will come a day where the investors say, okay, we gave you billions of dollars. What do we have to show for it? Oh, we're losing money. Okay, that's good to know. And the problem whatnot is it really is not a platform where it can grow because of the whole vlog. It's, it's the same idea behind Twitch. Twitch can only die at this point in time because again, if YouTube's offering the same platform of live streaming, which it does, at the same quality, which it does, then what's the point? Because YouTube will actually promote channels and people and, and different videos. There's a way that if you never watch a magic YouTuber, you could actually find a magic YouTuber and there would maybe be a random one. There's no way on the whatnot app to find a random magic street or magic seller. It, it's just very unlikely that you're going to whatnot app and you already don't know, oh, I want to watch backyard breaks. And because backyard breaks go so long, you can't watch them. I guess you could watch them at the same time if you had like two different phones, right? Or you watch one on the desktop and one on your phone, but it would be very strange for people to watch multiple people and what, so it's, it's, a, it's a dilemma of live streaming. On YouTube, you can watch as many magic channels as you want, right? And most of us are not live streaming and definitely not at the same time. And the Twitch and I think the core problem whatnot, number one, it doesn't save your videos because everyone's using copyrighted music. It would be a disaster. They would immediately be sued in oblivion if they did the VOD system. And you know, you might be like, oh, how do you know? Oh, Twitch, Twitch. Okay, there you go. Twitch had to remove all the VODs with copyright music. Otherwise they would delete the accounts and they were going to be sued into oblivion. So they made a settlement. All very public, uh, a little bit, uh, a little Google search will tell you everything you need to know about that situation. So I'm going, not going to really expand on it. And secondly, it doesn't have discoverability. Discoverability is okay. I'm a new to whatnot. I don't have any followers on YouTube. I don't have any people. I want to really get big on whatnot. How am I going to do it? The answer is like, you can't, they don't promote you, right? They, they want you to promote them but they're not gonna promote you. So they're always gonna side with the big influencers like Card Collector 2, Mojo. Again, just out straight up, just giving them money. They're also going to promote their shows and pin them to the top. They ain't never gonna pin a new guy to the top. It's just not how it works, right? Backdoor Break will always be the, at the top because they have the most viewers at that time. So if you're brand new, it's just, it's just easier to do YouTube, you know, the live shopping on YouTube. I don't know why more people don't do it. It might be because whatnot is giving so much money to the Jeff Wilson's and so on to take their YouTube audience and put on whatnot. But YouTube will still be king. That's, I mean, what, I mean, when you talk about a platform that's trying to get people from YouTube to go to whatnot, it's not vice versa. YouTube doesn't give a shit about whatnot because there's nobody there compared to how many people there are on YouTube. So again, I think whatnot is going to run into some issues. If you are interested into a more detailed business analysis, go subscribe to my other channel, LUS, L-U-S, at L-U-S. And uh, it's also, it's called Gutterless, but I made all of the, the names shorter.
Bye, guys.